afternoon, everyone. This is the Dow Jones. It's a three-minute chart. And we're showing you what our robots called HFT, high-frequency trading bots. We can see these diamonds were popping, and they kept popping, and then they really popped up. And this has a lot to do with uh, understanding how algorithms, um, just like right over here. Uh, we're almost mathematically perfect. 6.63 is teeny value 6.63 that's freaking huge and that means that each one of these lines are six dollars and 63 pennies and we can see how clearly uh, uh mathematically that we built it and we can see here where this teeny line and then that top teeny line there and we can see how the diamonds have been working in the Dow and our diamonds are tracking prices that other um, people use in high frequency trading algorithms and whatnot but our systems um, beat them and so we end up making all the money because we know what we're doing and the math doesn't lie. That was where we bid popped. And on the Dow Jones, we came right down here. And then we caught another run. And same thing over here on the Dow Jones index. And this is a three-minute one. Let us show you. Once again, we just want to be very key specific about the next chart. That is a market maker chart. As we can see now, going into this closing bell today, um, and this is the Dow Jones, and how to trade the Dow Jones, we're going to show you right now. As we can see right now that that Dow Jones is trying to pop another 6.33. That is the 116th value, and it's a, almost right there, 98% accurate. This is live, the interday range, 77. The Dow has been in an up and down, it's been in a chop shop all day long. And it's strong. It goes up and down with a mathematical range that will also lead to some bear funds that can be traded with the option bear funds. And, and we'll go over that in a... Um, different um, trade as we go into the closing bell and we're going into a holiday. Tomorrow will be a, a, the jobs report with this Dow and you know with that holiday they're going to probably try to pop it but you know the overall chop shop and this is the, the, the complete move up that was a high frequency. If you ever wanted to know the definition, it's that right there. And then we couldn't take it out. We came down. They bid popped it again. And we're right back up here. This is a pure mathematical play of one, two, three, four, five of these teenies. So here, let's just take a look at this one more time. The intraday range cannot be 134 because... There's a corruption, excuse me, for one moment. What we have here is a 60-minute chart on the Dow Jones. And basically, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go to the Delta tree, and I'll hit nine deltas, and I have the pricing all done. So basically, the way that we see this index right now is I'm going to hit the uh, diamonds. Watch how they start calculating. Boy, oh boy. Look at that big move down. Notice one thing about this whole thing in our system, everybody, is the following. No matter what, these diamonds are getting lower. And they are. And on a 60 minute, we have resistance areas today. And on, yeah, 60 minute Dow Jones. So let's just take where that part of the move is there. And that when you take a look at the robots that we own, these diamonds are our bots that uh, trade around the high frequency trading algorithms used in equities. But most importantly is how does the um, 
type of uh, bear fund or what type of uh, trade is there when, when the Dow is going down, and it is, and it's a holiday Friday tomorrow, Memorial Day, I believe. So this is how accurate this is. And this is how accurate it is. The damn teeny is 26.53. This thing here, I'm not getting an open. I'm only getting a low and a high on a 60 minute. But nonetheless, each one of these lines is a, a corruption in the Dow. But we'll come back to it. And we'll conclude this video and the things that can happen holiday weekend with the Dow and you can see the chart there will um, definitely correct anything that needs to be corrected.